So I'm going to show you two of my favorite tricks that most people don't seem to know about uh, that are built into Office. Uh, the first one is how to use Presenter View in PowerPoint, and the second one is how to do auto-referencing built into Word. So let's say we've got our super awesome presentation here in PowerPoint. Um, so we've got all our interesting slides with all our formats and pictures and clip art and all sorts of stuff. Um, but when you need to present it, you either have to just, uh, you have it set up so that you can see, well, what normally happens is that you have it set up so that it's just duplicated on your laptop and on the projector if you're presenting, you know, for a class or whatever. Um, but that looks very unprofessional. It means you have to make notes or something. So what you can do instead is, down the bottom here, there's a box that says, click to add notes. So you can type all your notes in here. Very interesting notes. Um, so if you are presenting, what you should do is type all your notes here, type what you're going to say in this box, because I'll show you, when you use Presenter View, um, this box, uh, the audience doesn't see, but you can see it. So you can just read straight off there. And it looks like you are just making up your speech as you go along because the audience can't see that you have notes hidden. So type all your notes of all the stuff you want to say um, with the corresponding slides. And then up here, Slideshow, at the end, use Presenter View. This only works if you have two monitors, but if you are using um, a laptop plugged into uh, a projector or something, set it to Extend Displays, which uh, is not too difficult to do. Um, you're just going to display settings. Anyway, so you set up to have Extend, which means that you have two separate monitors, effectively. Um, anyway, so show a presentation on. A primary monitor is the one that is built into your laptop, for instance, and the second monitor is whatever you have plugged in, so a projector or something. So tick Use Presenter View. Um, and then when you set up your sh when you show your slideshow, it comes up like this. See, so we have on the left we have our slides, and then on the right we have all our interesting notes that we can use to present. Welcome to PowerPoint 2007. There's a number of exciting features in the new version of PowerPoint, which I will show to you. Um, you also have the time, uh, how long you've been speaking for, what slide you are, and then thumbnails of all your other slides too. So. You can make the text bigger if you can't see it. You can make the text smaller if there's too much, and all that sort of thing. Uh, you can even draw on your slideshow and all that sort of stuff. So that is a good thing. And then um, when you present, it looks like this. So I don't have any other way of showing you this really um, in real life, um, except by using my webcam. But anyway, I'll show you. So. This is what it looks like uh, before you've got it set up. We'll go back to Presenter View. So we have our notes and uh, all this other stuff. And then on your other screen, so you can see all the notes and all the stuff you've done behind the scenes, but the audience just sees the presentation. So you can just type, or, uh, you can just talk away, and they can't see your notes or anything. So that's a good tip. Uh, that's number one. And I'll now show you. Right, so tip number two is how to do how to do auto referencing in Word. Um, it's quite self-explanatory. You click references, uh, then insert citation. So if you are at any sort of university or tertiary education center, you will need to reference in a suitable style. Um, but Word can basically do everything for you. So um, you just click references, insert citation there, and then it comes up with this helpful dialog that says create source. So let's say we read about citations in a journal article. Click author, last name, blogs, first name, Joe, add. So then you can see it's added Joe blogs in our list of authors. Title is how to reference. Journal name is word something or other. Uh, year 2010 and pages 61 to 62 and okay done there you have an in-text citation so depending on the style of referencing you have to use I use APA most of the time um, it will do everything for you see so blogs comma 2010 if you do Chicago it'll take out the comma see big difference not really but you might lose marks for it anyway so once you've done writing your 10,000 word essay bibli bibliography click there you go Blogs J, 2010, how to reference words something or other, pages 61 to 62. And it's all done for you. You can keep adding stuff, add more references. You just keep doing the same thing. 
um, and it will just make a bibliography and do all the in-text citations for you, like that. It's very easy. I think more people should use that and reference properly. Anyway, so I hope these tips have been helpful for you.